Hi, thanks for checking our channel here. It's going to be a, maybe a, hopefully a repair video, but at least a test video. I have a test video on this uh, unit. This is an older model, it's a 2011 model. This is a Red Snapper LI30C. So we're going to one jewel output, 30 mile range. You know, that mileage rating is kind of a, you know, pine and sky rating mostly. It's a, a single wire high tensile, the 12 and a half gauge high tensile, big thick stuff. Single wire of that clean with the perfect ground system. So you start adding smaller wire, cross fencing, poly rope, multiple strands, grass, the mileage range goes right out the window. So let's um I'm not gonna let's see what does the note say. Not much. I guess we've been, me and him have been talking about it for a little while, so I guess I don't know what it does. We're going to want to open it up and we're just going to take a peek inside. The serial number, 2000, the 1 1, first two digits is the year it was built. I'm sure there's more to it than that. There's probably like month and weeks and days in it. But um, let's get the screws out of this thing, let's see if we can figure it out. Pick this back cover off. All right, let's see. Burnt. Corroded so far. All right, the first thing I check. We're gonna unplug some transformer wires. We're gonna plug both the black and the red. So I'm gonna get it out of the way here in a second if I need to. But I'm gonna almost cross the primary input side this is a um, basic test that we do on any electric fence box because the primary side is just a, cl a closed loop so it's just like a, should be between 0 0.1 and 1 ohm if it's good all right we're getting 0 0.3 it's a closed loop because when they make that ticking sound the ticking sound comes from the transformer itself not the board discharging. The discharge is coming through the transformer and when that power discharges through it, that when it goes from primary to secondary side, that's when it just you know energy boosts up. And that's when the tick sound comes from it's from the transformer doing that. Getting that power shoved through it. The um, so it has to be a closed loop to allow this board to discharge. If it was open it had read nothing at all or really 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 high ohms. Uh, the primary is bad and there could be more wrong with the board But that would keep the unit from running as well because the board and capacitor can't discharge their energy through an open so let's uh, Pull this board out next and That goes for any Electric fence box Old style new style All right, let's see what size capacitor they think this thing I think it's a seven and a half Seven and a half. So we're going to unplug one wire just to take it out of circuit, and then we're going to put a meter on capacitance. So it's seven and a half. We're in three point seven, roughly. So that capacitor is pretty weak, but it is, you know, probably original. In a 12 year old capacitor so they don't last forever so we'll put a, another one of those in there not a big deal there all right so the next thing i want to check because so in theory this thing should fire off but there's parts in the board that will also keep it from running we'll always look over here these little small parts sometimes they're corroded or whatever and they'll need to be so I don't get that deep on the surface mount crap. There's no point because you can't read none of it. You can't get schematics for none of this stuff. So you have to just be able to do what you know and test what you can. So now we're going to test these big diodes. 
that one's good. That one's good. Now let's check this SCR right here. Alright, reverse the leads because I may have it backwards. Well, this SCR might be okay. Okay, so so far the main parts that sometimes go bad, SCR and those two diodes are fine. So let's check just for shits and giggles. Let's test the output ohms of the transformer. Well, it reads 9 ohms. I don't know what's supposed to read. Huh? Hold on. Yeah, it dropped real quick. Hey, when you strip those wires back, will you, before you put the uh, spade connectors on there, um, test across the red wires and see if you get zero points at the ohms. Yeah, before you put those spades on there. Uh, let's just see what this thing does. Uh, red wire goes to J3, I think. That's my, what my notes say on the cheat sheet. Black wire goes down here. Let's just, I know it's going to need a new capacitor, but let's just see if it, this thing will click. Because I think three and a half, four, whatever, 3.6, whatever it was, that should be enough to make it, to allow this thing to run. It's below on the jewels, but, okay, good. All right, let's plug this in and see what we, what happens. So it does indeed click. Put our tester across the output and see what we get out of this thing. Why well, it's not flashing down there, but, but that doesn't mean anything. Right now it doesn't. Barely a little over a thousand volts. Transformer's bad. All right, so now two things need to happen to this thing. We need to put new transformer and a new capacitor in the thing. I don't stock factory transformers. I don't like them. Actually, we're gonna cut cut it off right here. We're going to reuse these wires to splice into the new one. This transfer is going to go in the trash. Here's a new transfer that we're going to use. It will sit right down inside here. We will have to modify the back case to get the case to shut. Black wire might reach. We might be able to reuse that one. But I am going to add a little, and I see this is a little loose. We're going to solder on. Okay, the, where the transfer plugged in at? Or the capacitor? Oh. Huh? Probably the connect wire where the wires go to the board from the capacitor, they're probably all corroded up too. that wire there. Huh? What? Well, we're going to put a different capacitor on Um, yeah. Pull it out and see what the number is on it. Okay, that one reached, but the red one, well, the red one might reach too, actually. We might have to 
extend these wires at all. I might be able to reach. Let's just make this sure this one's tight. Twenty. Okay, hold on. Touch up the solder joint on this one because it needs to really on there real well. No. for a second and we'll plug it in, in here in a second. Okay, that's on there. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna trim this back. Leave that much exposed. Let's get our tester out and now we'll test the output over here and then we'll plug it in. Hopefully it's up to you know, seven, eight thousand volts somewhere, or maybe higher, somewhere in that range. Because I'm reading three or four before. Let me see your tester for a second. Huh? Oh, it's probably like 300 dollars worth. Is that one of those great big things? And then the kids get like a bunch of gizmos, a bunch of little a little gift bag thing. All right, so now we got to get the fence to ground, the fence and ground wash hooked up, which this one the crisscross because the fence is over here and grounds over here, so we, we got to get that right. Now I gotta crimp on a couple of uh, female spade connectors. And we'll probably put a little bit bigger, stouter um, capacitor in there than what they have with that seven and a half microfarad. We're gonna probably put like a 15 or a 20 in it. It's not gonna hurt anything. This transfer that we're putting in there is rated for up to four joules. So it'll handle the power just fine. There, this is a one joule board with this capacitor combination, but if we put a big capacitor in there, board won't really change too much. Joule was because it's gonna stay, this all stays the same, but we will get more power just by putting a bigger capacitor in. And um, they do make a two joule board and a four joule board as well. And, uh, but we're gonna put the capacitor in there and we'll jump this thing up to probably three joules, but just by going to a, a bigger capacitor. And I have a better transformer, puts out more power anyway. So they'll be gaining, gaining things all around. So they'll be all right. All right, so let's pull this board up. We're gonna, discharge this capacitor take a big 10 watt I don't know, 10 ohm whatever resistor this is and we're going to hopefully get it just right and we're going to touch across there just to discharge it make sure Whoop. scared me way all the energy is out of it and we can touch well I usually use my needle nose pliers anyways to unplug it but I don't want to accidentally touch across there and 
Where's the arcing at? Is it smoking? It probably needs just a new capacity, new transformer in it, because that I tried soldering it, but it's it's so dirty down inside. There's all corrosion and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I don't think so. I have to look. I need to order one anyway for another guy who wants to install one himself. So I'll have to maybe order two, one for us, one for him. Capacitor didn't seem like it but the capacitor was good. If you want to get a sticky note on there or right on his note, uh, needs a transformer, and we'll uh, we'll get him a new transformer. So he's transformer capacitor on that one. All right, let's see, we're gonna put this capacitor there. That's the one we're gonna stick in there. So we'll solder that one there, and I think that one should work there. So let's. Cut these off. Don't need those on there anymore. And what we'll do to keep the capacitor in place, we'll mix up a little bit of two-part epoxy. And glue that capacitor into place. Tin these wires by adding some solder to them. Then we'll go down here and we'll add some solder to the tab there and then with this tab here. Pliers out so I can keep my hands from getting burned by the hot wire. And let's heat them both up at the same time, let them solidify and cool off. Same thing over here. So now let's get this, we'll put this case back together and then before we call it done, we're gonna plug it in and try it real quick. Now, like I said, this transfer was a little bit wider than the original one. So the case won't shut all the way. It gets about hit, this transformer hits things on the inside. So what we gotta do is take um, a pair of cutters here. We gotta get these four little tabs right here just snip them off, just give them a little haircut. Alright. Got all 
four of those snipped off. And then let's test fit things, make sure it closes. Oh, that should be good there. Let's plug it back in here. tester across the output ten thousand volts transfer a lot higher volts in the factory than one was now that capacitor's got a lot of so that's power built up in it now so now it's all charged up So now I need to get two part epoxy here. And then we'll mix them up. Start up with. Let's get this front screwdriver to work. Put some around the back right there. this put it into place and take a little while for that epoxy to cure all the way but electrically and I think we're, we're done off all right one more check and then we'll be done I just want to do a little spark test across it so I can spark this thing I'd throw. Nice sharp snap, so we are cooking with gas now all right well this one's all fixed up ready to go so we'll write them up call the customer and I'm sure they'll fix it pretty cheap fix a cheaper fix and 18 month warranty on the both capacitor and the transformer a brand new one of these only comes with like a one year warranty maybe a two if you're lucky I'll fix this unit actually made it stronger more reliable that better trans better better transformer in it and stuff. Hell, until next time, see you guys later on. See you later.